So you're thinking about getting a British short hair cat, and whether this cat breed is right for you. When you consider their big amber eyes, round face, and laid-back nature, it's easy to fall in love with a British short hair cat. I am the cat butler. Usually, my two ragdoll cats, Timo and Aria, are the stars of the channel. But today, I will visit Doriaki, a British short hair cat, and interview his owner, Elaine. Hello, everyone. My name is Elaine. I have this British short hair cat named Doriaki. We will discuss the ten things you should know before getting a British short hair cat, and at the end, she will share some of her favorite memories of her cat. I think the most thing that drew me to this breed is the round face, because I feel like if a cat has a round face, it's like it looks cuter. Round is the key word to describe this breed. In terms of appearance, British short hair cats have large round faces with chubby cheeks. The most common pattern associated with the breed is a solid blue coat with orange amber eyes, but they can come in other colors like lilac, cinnamon, white, chocolate, and other colors. Cats with other coat colors can have green. Copper, amber, or blue eyes. It's fourteen pounds right now, and it has been on a diet for two years, but the diet was not successful. British short hairs are relatively large, solid cats, weighing on average of six to twelve pounds, and taking up to five years to reach physical maturity. British short hair usually eats a lot, so you have to prepare a lot of cat food for them. Um, and they can grow to very big size. Due to its size and moderate activity level, measure food portions to prevent this breed from becoming overweight. And I really like the personality of this breed,、um, which is more、um, like they are attached to people, but they are not too needy. British short hair cats are affectionate, but not needy or clingy. There was a period of time that he、um, was very affectionate and.、Um, For example,、um, the morning that I、um, wake up, I can see him sleeping on the top of my head and purring. But that happens.、Um, I have to be kind of lucky to see that、um, happening because、um, it just like varies time to time. And sometimes he just like to stay at the desk or、um, at the chair for the whole night. Low key and relax, they may like to stay near you. But may not like to cuddle or sit on your lap. Um, he really is not a lap cat. He likes to stay in a place that he can see you. Lastly, they are great with children and other pets in the household. So if you are the type of person that likes to have their personal space and want an easygoing cat, the British short hair cat is the one for you. If you enjoyed this video so far. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner, so please join us. British short hairs can be quite intelligent. They are quick learners, easy to train, and fond of puzzle games and toys. Doriaki can even open doors. Another of my favorite moment is the moment that I found out that he is capable of opening doors. So he starts to stand up, and then press down the knob, and then suddenly the the door first open a little bit, and then he use his nose and mouth. So I have to add a bar under each knob, so that every time he wants to get out, he cannot. The British short hair is known to be the inspiration for the Cheshire Cat in Lewis Carroll's. Alice in Wonderland, believed to have come to England with invading Roman troops, the British short hair cat was valued for their hunting skills and kept rodents out of the army's food supplies. Over the centuries in England, they became house pets, and in the 19th century, breeders started to shape the British short hair cat we know today. 
British short hair cats have an average lifespan between 14 to 20 years old, but this is dependent on their health. This breed must be fed carefully for risk of obesity. The British short hair is not especially active, preferring to spend most of its time taking it easy, so it does not get the opportunity to burn calories. Some potential health problems you may encounter in this breed is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM. HCM is the most common cardiac disease in cats. Affected cats are at risk of sudden cardiac death due to defects in the heart. The heart walls thicken, thereby decreasing the heart's efficiency and causing symptoms in other parts of the body. Some cats have no symptoms from HCM. Others start to show signs of congestive heart failure, such as lethargy or labored breathing. In British shorthair cats, they are more at risk for this disease. Unlike Maine Coon and Ragdoll cats, there is no genetic test to weed out the HCM mutation from the breeding pool. The only way to diagnose HCM in a British shorthair is using an ultrasound, a test that uses sound waves to see if the heart's muscle is unusually thick. Some breeders will screen for unusually thick heart muscles and remove those cats from the breeding pool. There's no cure for HCM, but medication can reduce the risk of complications. It's a progressive disease that can get worse as the cat ages. Another disease to watch out for is polycystic kidney disease, or PKD. This is most common in British shorthairs who have Persian cats in their bloodline. This inherited condition causes multiple cysts to form in the kidneys. Present at birth, these cysts will grow larger over time and can cause problems with kidney function. There is a genetic test you can take from UC Davis that determines if your cat has this disease. Some breeders have been able to use genetic tests, ultrasound screening methods, and improved breeding practices to reduce PKD from the breeding pool. If you're interested in the genetic test from UC Davis, I'll link it in the description below. British short-haired cats are also not very energetic or athletic. Considered to be a low-energy cat once they reach adulthood, they do have their energetic moments, but tend to spend most of the day sleeping or observing you. The downside of this low activity is that British short hairs can develop obesity related to their overly chill lifestyle. If left to their own devices, they can become couch potatoes, especially when they become seniors. It is up to you to give them exercise and stimulation from time to time to keep them in shape. You can use a cat toy and have two play sessions a day, roughly 30 minutes each. British short hairs have a very strong hunting drive and you can use that to get them up and moving. If you're interested in getting cat toys for your cat, you can check them out at Timo and Arya's cat store, thecatbutler.co. Most of the toys are handmade with the best materials. I'll link it in the description below. Your support helps me continue to make fun and educational videos for this channel. British short hair cats have thick, velvety fur that is very soft to the touch. But unfortunately, their coats can be prone to matting, so brushing their hair often will keep their fur tangle-free. British short hair cats do shed throughout the year, and brushing will help control the amount of hair that ends up on furniture and floors. It will also reduce the incidence of hairballs. A purebred British short hair cat is not cheap. Due to the high demand for pets during the pandemic, prices have gone up. In the US, British short hair kittens from a reputable breeder registered with a TICA can cost from $1,800 to $4,000 depending on the quality and pattern of the cat. A show quality cat usually costs more than a pet quality cat. Costs can also go up in high cost of living areas like Los Angeles or New York. Familiarizing yourself with a British short hair breed is a very important step in buyer protection. Breeding British short hair cats responsibly and ethically requires time and money. So err on the side of caution when the price of a kitten is too low. 
Avoid backyard breeders as they can sell you a sick cat. Elaine has been a wonderful owner to her cat, and it was a pleasure to see their relationship in person. Here are some of her fondest memories. I used to live at the first floor, and there are a lot of squirrels coming by. Um, those are the best friends of my cat. So he likes to stare at a squirrel and sometimes yell at a squirrel or smash in the window because the squirrel was um, burying the food by the windows. Yeah, I, I feel like um, by that time, um, that was his happiest moment because he had a lot of friends to play with. I have a collection of his whiskers. Um, so um, the other fun thing I like to do with my cat is like I like to collect his whiskers. Um, there is a, um, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, there's a story that um, if you can collect the cat's whiskers and, when, and you can make a wish, and then the wish will come true because of the blessing of the cat. Because of that reason, I have collected more than 20 whiskers of my cat and I use that as my wishes um, fortune box, I'll say. Um, I would just like feel that's like a um, cute thing to do. And then every time I found his whiskers um, either on the sofa or on the floor, I'll just like carefully pick it up and then collect it in my collection. So those are the funnest memory I have with my cat. I hope you enjoyed learning about the British short hair cat and that it helped you decide whether this cat breed is right for you. If you'd like to learn more about other cat breeds, you can check out the playlist at the end of the video. Comment down below. What do you think of British short hair cats?